Getting diagnosed with type 1 diabetes was definitely one of the most frightening moments of my life. I started to see a change physically, 20 pounds in two weeks. I went to the doctor, they did a bunch of tests, and they saw that my blood glucose was through the roof. The Dexcom CGM is an amazing step forward in the battle against diabetes. Uh, it's a small sensor that I insert just below the skin on my stomach. Uh, it gives me readings every five minutes, 24 hours a day. I can even get my numbers on a cell phone or a smart watch, whatever I want. What does singer Nick Jonas have to do with stocks? Well, he's one of the roughly 1.5 million Americans who suffer from type 1 diabetes, a disease that requires patients to constantly monitor their glucose levels. Jonas, like so many others, does that with the help of Dexcom, a company with a powerful secular growth story that just hit yet another brand new high today. It makes the most popular continuous glucose monitoring system for people who suffer from type 1 diabetes. Basically, they built a better mousetrap, which it comes to, to checking your blood sugar levels rather than needing to prick your finger with a needle every hour or just doing something that just gives you a snapshot periodically. Dexcom makes a sensor you just need to stick on your skin uh, and it will transmit your blood sugar data to a wireless receiver. Dexcom is not the only medical device firm in this business, but their device is absolutely the most popular, and the company is always trying to improve its technology. they got all sorts of apps to help diabetics keep track of their blood sugar levels, many other devices. And over this week, Dexcom announced a deal with Google Life Sciences. That's that life sciences team that's part of the new alphabet to develop a new generation of smaller, less expensive glucose monitoring systems. Oh, and last week, Dexcom reported a terrific quarter where they beat Wall Street's revenue estimates substantially. Sales up 58.5% year over year. Company inching closer to profitability. They'd be profitable if they wanted to. They just want to spend all the money to make the better mousetrap each time. And that's what keeps Dexcom ahead of the pack. Now, Dexcom has uh, given us a quick 58% gain since we last spoke to Terry Gregg. Here's the former CEO. He's the current chairman back in February. <laughs> not, not, not bad, huh? Stock's up roughly 630% since we first started recommending it. I suspected a little medical device play nearly four and a half years ago, March of 2011. But I think you could have more room to run. So let's check in with Kevin Sayer. He's the relatively new president and CEO of Dexcom. Find out more about his company's prospects. Mr. Sayer, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you, Good Jim. to see you, sir. Good to have see you. Have a seat, you. Kevin. Yeah, it's been a, a great run, and, and Tari put us on to it because basically you do have a device that's just much better than everybody else's. It is fabulous. Uh, we are the world-class leader in this technology. No question about it. And we saw uh, Mr. Jonas do that video, and what it re you're really talking about is if he didn't have it, he would not, he might not even be able, he might not be able to live. I mean, there's incidents in your documents where people well. just got the reading wrong. There's instances in particular at nighttime for people with type 1 diabetes, they're asleep. They don't know what their blood sugars are doing. This system has alarms that can alarm and alert patients and wake them up and say, hey, it's time to do something. With our new Gen 4 share system, that data can be shared with your caregivers as well. And since we've launched that mobile platform, we've received numerous stories from our patients, gee, You've saved my life again. And for, so it's been wonderful. And for kids, I mean, you can have it monitored on their so, so Apple Watch. So, Jim, let me show you, if I could here. Sure. I am following a, a patient here on my Apple Watch. A remote patient. A remote Somewhere patient. not here. Yeah, not, not named. But this is someone else's glucose right here on my watch. In our lifetime, this happened. This is incredible. And, and, and what Nick Jonas was talking about our patients can also follow themselves on the watch right. with our new software. So if you're sitting in a business meeting and have type 1 diabetes and want to see what your glucose values are, this is a lot less conspicuous than sticking your finger. All right, now, you, yes, now you've taken big market share away from Medtronic, but I think this news, uh, we saw the split up of Google into the kind of Google that doesn't make money necessarily and the kind of Google that does. And their first partnership is with your company. And this is for a much bigger market. It is for a much bigger market, and it's also to expand the market we're currently in. You know, having Terry's our chairman a good thing, is a good thing. We're trying to look forward right. and take this wonderful technology and apply it to more people. If we can lower the cost and the profile of our technology to whereby people can use it intermittently who have type 2 diabetes, who are taking other compounds. Type 2 being the one that, yes. frankly, unfortunately, many, millions, millions and millions have. of people have that. But, you know, we wear sensors all the time as non-diabetics at the company, right. and we learn, I probably shouldn't eat pasta with white sauce frequently because that sends me through the roof. Well, we can evaluate the effect of these compounds if we can get our technology right. So with Google, we're going to make small, small wearable electronics, which is what we've licensed from them, work on data analytic platforms, because once they have a steady stream of data, 
we can learn a lot and enrich these patients' lives, and we'll continue to make our world-class sensor technology and stay on our course. Google obviously could have partnered with anybody in the world. They wanted to partner with you. We believe so, yes. Obviously, we signed the deal. And uh, last one, the cost of the new miniaturized, you're talking about disposable uh, a, a device. These are just, they must be affordable for everybody. Millions of people could afford the device. That's our goal, right. is to make this affordable for millions. Well, uh, you're a you work at a remarkable company. And it's, this is the kind of thing that we're talking about. This is very space age that's here right now. Right on your watch, monitor your life. That's Kevin Sayer. He's the president and CEO of Dexcom. All-time high hit today. Mad Money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs. Plus, market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.